Hello, and welcome back to the WavTool tutorial series. In this video, we're doing a deep dive on the note editor. That's this panel down here, and it's where we're going to write notes, melodies, beats, etc., as well as using Composer, WavTool's AI note writing utility, to use AI to generate some notes for us. So to start with, let's just make sure we have a clip selected. Um, now, there are two kinds of clips, as you may recall. We have audio clips, which we could create by dragging something in from the sample library. If you have an audio clip selected, you're going to see an editor down here that looks something like this. What you want is a MIDI clip, and you can get one of those selected by just creating an instrument and selecting one of these presets. Let's just select chords and then choose piano to start. With this clip selected, I'm just going to clear away the sample library so we have a bit more room to work with. And I'll also click and drag on the separation here to make the note editor panel a bit bigger. With this clip selected, we now have access to Composer and the note editor. And if we mouse over the suggestions from Composer, we can see what each of these sounds like. So let's, let's do that right now. Now something that can help when you're reviewing these suggestions is turning on the metronome. That'll allow us to hear where the beat is and sort of understand the timing of the clip a little bit better. To turn on the metronome, we can click on this little button down in the bottom right corner here. Once it turns blue, the metronome's turned on, and now if I mouse over this again, we'll hear the beat in addition to the clip that we're listening to. Cool. Now let's try the next one. All right. And the last one. Cool. So the intention with Composer is that you'll pick several suggestions um, in, in order to sort of write out a, 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 a clip section by section. So some of these are actually the full length of the clip. So we, we would be populating the clip with just one click. But I'm going to choose this middle one that's a little bit shorter so we can make a few more decisions. Now that that's done, it's going to come up with a new suggestion for us to continue this pattern. We can take a listen to these ones. Cool. I think the first one seems interesting, so I'll add that. And now I'm just going to choose two more suggestions really quickly to fill up the clip. OK, so now because we've completely filled the clip, um, we're going to get this message here. No more room to add notes. Now we could click on Extend Clip if we wanted to add some additional time into our MIDI clip. I'm now going to zoom out so we can see the whole thing. And we can see we've got this new space over here. If I undo, we could instead click New Clip. What that's going to do is it's going to create a new clip to the right of the one that we already had. It's also going to duplicate any content on adjacent clips or on adjacent tracks so that we can sort of quickly just create a variation of whatever this was with one click. Um, finally, whoops, uh, the last option is add bass. This is just going to really quickly in one click add a new bass track adjacent to our first one. And now Composer's suggestions are going to be taking into account the first clip that we were looking at. If I click Regenerate now, you'll notice a little animation indicates that Composer is paying attention to what's in this clip. You can see this little bar wiping back and forth. That's Composer looking at what's in this ad additional clip so that what we're adding here will make musical sense with it. I'm going to choose a few more suggestions here, and you'll notice that they're going to musically follow what was in the original piano track. Now that we've got a few instruments going, we can turn off the metronome, since I think the timing will be pretty obvious from here. OK, now let's look at doing some of our own manual edits and uh, writing in some notes by hand inside of these clips. I'm actually just going to start a new clip to illustrate this. So once again, I'm going to click on this Add Clip button that appears up here. Um, and now I'm going to show you a few different ways that we can draw in our own notes. So to start, I actually want to zoom in the note editor a bit, since we're, we're uh, zoomed out kind of far right now. So I can scroll up and down with my mouse wheel normally. Um, but if I wanted to, zo to zoom in vertically to make these notes a little bit taller, I can hold Command Shift, or if you're on a PC, Control Shift, and then scroll up, and that's going to zoom in. Now, the zooming direction might actually be reversed for you. And if that's the case, you can come up to Edit, Mouse and Keyboard Settings, and then use these settings to change the way that zooming and scrolling work so that it feels right on your computer. OK, now, additionally, if you wanted to zoom in uh, horizontally, so 
sort of like this. You can hold Command and scroll up or down, or Control and scroll up or down if you're on a PC. Um, this seems zoomed in enough for me, so now we can start writing some notes. To do that, I can hold Alt or Option, and then click somewhere inside this note editor to draw in a note. Let's draw in a C right here. And now I can hold Option and click to draw in another note. And you'll notice that the length of these notes is always the same. It's always one beat. But if we wanted to change that, all we have to do is click and drag on the edge of one of these notes. If I make this note, let's say, half as long, then the next time I Alt-click or Option-click, it's going to add a note in that's that same length as the last one that I edited. If we wanted to Option-click and change the length at the same time, I can just Option-click and drag to make a note that's as long as I want. And once again, once we set this note length, the next note I add is going to have the same length. So in this case, that looks like six sixteenth notes long. There we go. Now another way that we could write in our own notes is by using our computer keyboard to play notes and then press the tab key to complete them. So you can see right now, we've got this tab note showing up. It's a little sort of gray, um, like dashed line note with the word tab written inside of it. And if I press tab, that note's going to get added in to our clip right away. Um, if you see this note and you press tab and it doesn't work, it might be because you have another um, panel selected. So just click inside of the, the note editor panel to focus it. It'll have this little outline around it. And then tab should start working for you again. Okay, now to change which note gets inserted when we press tab, um, well, the, the way it works is it, it, it'll insert the last note that you played out of that track. So if I click on this piano keyboard here, you'll notice the tab note moves around. But we can also press notes on our computer keyboard to change the tab note. So I, I could press the, um, the key A. You can see it's indicated here. Now, you'll notice we're hearing this coming out of the bass guitar channel instead of the piano channel, and that's because the bass guitar is armed currently. If I arm the piano, then my computer keyboard is going to send notes out of the piano instead. If no track is armed, so if I disarm the, the piano channel right now and, and press notes on my computer keyboard, we're just not going to hear anything. So if you're pressing like these letter keys on your computer keyboard and not hearing anything, it might be because you don't have a track that's armed. OK, so I'm going to arm the piano, go back to our clip. And now if I press A, D, and G, which you can see here, A, D, and G, we're going to get a C major triad, which should sound like this. And now I can press tab to, whoops, sorry, I didn't have, <laughs> I have to click inside the note editor, as I mentioned before. Now I can press tab, and it's going to insert all three of those notes for us. These notes are a little bit long, maybe, so what I'm going to do is select them and make them shorter. Now I'm just going to click to put the playhead where I want to add my next chord in. Now this time I'll press A, F, and H to make an F major triad. And now I can press tab, and it's going to insert those notes and move us forward to the end of those notes. So I can keep writing. And just like that, by pressing a few letters on my computer keyboard and pressing tab, we can sort of quickly write in chord progressions and melodies. Well, that's everything for this video. I hope this has helped you to uh, get more out of the note editor inside of WavTool. In upcoming videos, we'll look at other panels like the audio editor, the sample library, and more. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.